Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles. And salutation to your brothers that's doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. And we're going to hop right to it, man. Going into being um, circumcised in heart. All right? Because just you knowing your Israelite ain't enough. You know that Israelite is not enough, man. You being circumcised in the flesh, or you just know your Israelite is not enough, man. The Pharisees and Sadducees knew back then. But they still had what? An uh, 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 uncircumcised heart. This is Jeremiah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know what that Romans for? Yeah, yeah, no, this is, this is the brother mentioned about um, knowing you Israelite is not enough, man. You know? You gotta. This is uh, Romans 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, man. Because these guys that know that they're Israelites, but what? They're whipped this world, man. They just flown with the course of this wickedness, man. Just like how the, uh, the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees and majority of the people uh, during the time of the apostles did, man. They flow with the course of that world, you know. It says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good, that acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. And, and, and that's having that circumcised heart, man. Being renewed in your mind. You know, Lord willing, we're going to, you know, get more scriptures to further the topic, you know. This is Jeremiah 9, 24. 23. Thus saith Yahweh, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glory, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am Yahweh, which exercise love and kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, say of Yahweh. So actually, right, righteousness and, and judgment, actually having the truth. That's what the Lord wants to see, man. Uh, what is it having the truth in thy animal parts? Mm -hmm. That's been in such a I'm trying to get that wrong, it's the third chapter, right? No, it's Romans 7. You'll find it. I'm going to read that over. But let him that glory of glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, I am Yahweh, which exercised love and kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith Yahweh. You find it? Me too. Romans 7 and 22, it says, For I delight in the law of the Most High after the inward man. It goes, well, it goes into the spirit, man. You know, uh, uh, having mercy, judgment, you know. Psalms 51 and um, in 5. Behold, I was shaken. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, 4. And that's what I'm taking. This is wrong, this is Psalms 51 and 4. Against thee, the only have I sin and done is evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaken in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me in the flesh. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inner parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make like in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. So that's being circumcised, man. That's what cuts off the flesh. Us being in the spirit of Yahweh Bashan and Yahweh Shai, man. Having the truth in my arrow parts, man. And we're shaking in iniquity, man. We, we, we have that flesh on us. But through the spirit we have about shining how shine, we circumcise our heart, man. We don't live according to the flesh. We put our flesh under subjection. Hmm. Right? This is hey, that's the light after the law after the inward man, you know. Mm -hmm. What Paul said, you know. I consent to the law that this is good. This truth is there. It's like, you know. <laughs> you should got it out. Get it out, man. Don't, don't well, I mean, I ain't quenching it. I'm just the, the truth. It's the truth. I couldn't say no more. Like, the truth is ineffable, you know? And all in all, he is all, man. Right, you know? Right, right. Uh, behold, the days, it's like it. Jeremiah 9 25. Behold, the days come, say of Yahweh, that will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised, meaning uh, uh, Israelites with heathens. That's right. Okay? Especially there is a circumcision. Exactly. You know? The most wicked thing. In fact, we're going to pull that up, man. Um, Egypt and Judah and Edom and the children of Adam and Moab and all that are in the utmost corners that dwell in the wilderness. For 
all these nations are uncircumcised. And all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in heart. So Israel does what? Follow after the heathens? Take, take worldly customs and, and try to bring it into the, to this, to, to this truth. Alright, that's being uncircumcised in the heart. You're not fully conforming to Yahweh Hashem and Shai. You're not walking in the spirit. That's, that's you being uncircumcised in the heart, man. So why? That's how you say about that. This is Romans 8 and 1. There is now... There is not, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yehoshai, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Yehoshai Hamashiach has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son, and the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, so the righteousness of the law might be, might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So for one, it shows that the law was still uh, uh, valid. Because it says, we read that last word somewhere, John. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled The righteousness in us. of the law might still be fulfilled in us. Which of course is faith. But because of that faith, what are we going to do? We're going to keep the law to the best of our ability. That's the righteousness of the law still being fulfilled in us. Keeping the whole law. From Genesis to Revelation, including the Apocrypha, man. Which includes Judges 5 yeah, we rehearsed. Which includes Ecclesiastes, we're not righteous over much. Also, being not we wicked. So we keep we keep the whole law, man. That was the whole thing, the, the whole argument with the Pharisees and such. And, and, and the whole the thing was uh, uh, that the, about the law of Moses. The law of Moses, that's what they was harping on, man. But it's spiritual, man. You're you going to kill, kill a man that's returning from sin? What does Sirach tell you? At first it tells you to sin less, and then it tells you, uh, hey, not a man that turns from sin. So the law was still very valid. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And that's the whole thing of being circumcised. We don't walk after the flesh, we walk after the spirit. Oh, sorry, can you get Romans 7? It's like 15. Rome. When it says um, this law is spiritual. Uh, this is who? Or well, maybe it's sort of that, like verse 11. Or yeah. Yeah, this is like. You can start at verse 12 and go down to 14. Okay. That's kind of, kind yeah, of, exactly. Yep. Kind it goes with that Psalms. Kind of, uh, this is uh, Romans 7 and 12. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good. Was that then which is good made death unto me? God forbid, but sin that it might appear sin, working death in me by that which is good. That sin by the commandment might become uh, exceeding sinful, for we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal sold under sin. But I am carnal sold under sin. So we are, we're fleshy, man, but we cut that off by what? The spirit, all right, which includes the law. So we keep the law to the best of our abilities, man. We serve the Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and because now we're able to have liberty, we can keep some. We can keep the law better than, we, than in our past, man. But the point was that the law is spiritual. So what's cutting off the flesh? The all right, is us in John 63. All right, the word. It's us following his word all the way, through and through, man. That's being circumcised in the heart. Actually living and being an Israelite, man. Being a hearer and doer of the word. Not just knowing you're an Israelite. No, man, you got to perform, uh, you got to strive lawfully, like Paul said. This is back to Romans chapter 8. Uh, verse 5, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because that carnal mind is what? You being uncircumcised. And what did it say in Jeremiah? That the uncircumcised and the circumcised were punished together. So all it's going to do is bring death. Verse 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Verse 9, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Hamashiach, he is none of his. And if Hamashiach be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised Yahweh Shai up from the dead dwell in you, 
He that raised up Yahweh Shai from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if, if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the flesh, ye shall live. Do the spirit mortify the deeds of the flesh. That's the, that's the circumcision of heart, man. Okay. Fall into the spirit. All right, putting away the, the, the flesh of things. Now walking, walking after a fucking carnal heart. All right, according to Jeremiah, uh, 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 let me get it real quick. I think it's, uh, uh, where it says, uh, circumcise the cells unto me. Oh, that's okay. No. I got Jeremiah 4. That's okay. Jeremiah 4 and 4, circumcise yourselves to the Lord and take away the foreskin of your hearts, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because the evil of your doings. So like the brother, like the, like we've been going into, you know, you're supposed to circumcise yourselves into the Lord. You're supposed to put away the foreskin of your hearts and, and put away the evil of your doings, man. That's what the Lord has called us to do. It's more than just knowing that you are an Israelite. Okay, and knowing that you're a Judite or a Levite or whatever, and and um, and you know keeping certain laws, you actually have to live a certain way, man. You actually have to have a certain mind about you, a certain thought process, a certain worldview. And if you don't have that, then you are not of Yahweh Shai's, man. And when Yahweh Shai returns, you're not going to be raised up with him. Come, Come on, Come on, I want to back you up. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter ten, verse. I'm gonna start at sixteen. It says, circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart and be no more stiff necked. Okay. And that's, that's what the Lord is telling us, man, he, to, to obey. Okay. You know? Circumcise yourself, right? For Yahweh Shah, Yahweh your power is the power of powers and Lord of lords, a great power, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons nor taketh reward. He doeth execute the judgment of the fatherless. And widow, and loveth the stranger, and giving him food and raiment. Love ye therefore the stranger, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. And that's what we're doing, man. Because we all were strangers, man. We all became strange. And now we're calling back that nation, man. Like Isaiah 14 says, what? The stranger shall cleave unto the house of Israel, man. They shall uh, 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 hold uh, to the skirt of one that is a Jew. That's how we're out there prophesying, man, to gather, to gather our people, the elect of Israel, man. You know, to 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 uh, uh, to call them back, to circumcise them, man. You know, to hearken them. <laughs> you know, and the Lord said He doeth execute the judgment of the fatherless, and that's all He asked us to do. If uh, I think it's in Isaiah, it says that um, is there any man that calleth for righteousness? Is there any man that seeketh judgment? You know, to to to, to that point. This is uh Matthew twenty three verse twenty three. It says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Because that's what Yahweh Basham Yahushua delights in, man. He delights in equity. He delights in justice. You know, he delights in righteous judgment, man. This is um Matthew the seventh chapter. And the 24th verse, it says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, because Yahweh Shah said, What? Law come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. You know, you guys want to talk about the law, law, law. Well, hey, hey, Yahweh Shah said, What? If you had listened to Moses, then you, you would listen to me, man. So, therefore, if you, if you uh, 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 listen to Moses, which represents the laws, then you would listen to uh, Yahweh Shah, which represents this whole book, man. And therefore, you would, represent, uh, you would listen to the prophets who are out there representing Yahweh Shah. It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. You know? So you got to hear these words. It says, Whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, because that's the important thing about it, man. Applying this, these words to your everyday life. That's the renewing of your mind. That's circumcising your heart. This is James 1 and 22. It says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. And the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit, man. You know? 
So if you're just hearing these words, you're not applying them to your life, then you're actually not uh, uh, washing yourself. You're actually not renewing uh, uh, your mind. You know? Because doing these words is, is, is what cleanses us, man. Doing. Because James says what, man? Hey, hey uh, uh, show me thy faith without thy works. I will show you my faith by my works. That's doings, man. That's not a hear only. That's a doing these words that, that, that you hear, right? So back in Matthew... Like it says in Ezekiel, uh, they come and sit before thee as thy people do us, man. All right, with their lips, they show you much love, man. But they will not do it. They will not keep the, keep the word. Mm -hmm. And what do you say you want to say, Where it says, uh, if any man seek a judgment... You will part him. And the Lord will part him. Jeremiah 5. Okay, kind of the water. Back in um, Matthew 7, verse 25, it says, And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon that rock. It was founded upon Yahweh Shai, man. Why? Because you hearken unto his words. Why? Because this is 1 Corinthians 2 and 16. For who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Yahweh Shai, man. And that's listening to his words that he spoke, man. Listen to his teachings, his doctrine that he gave unto the apostles, and the apostles gave unto the, uh, everybody else, man. Acts 2. They continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine that the apostles got from Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai got it straight from his father, man. Because in John it says, what? I call you no more for, uh, servants but friends, because everything I heard of the Father, I have made known unto you. This thing of ours, man. So it says, verse 26, And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man. And this is a guy who's uncircumcised in heart, man. Why? Because he's stiff-necked according to Deuteronomy 2 that we just read. It says, circumcise your, uh, the foreskin of your heart. You know? It says, be ye no more stiff-necked. Right? It says, shit. Um, and do of them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it, man. So if you ain't hearkening to the words that's, that's, that's being taught, man, hey, you're going to be destroyed, man. I got you. Mm-hmm. This is Ezekiel 33, 31. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, 30. Also thou son of man, the church of thy people, still are talking against thee by the walls and the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, everyone to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you will hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. And they come with thee as the, as the people coming, and they sit before thee as my people. And they hear their words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. <laughs> so they go after their own desires, man. Yep. Their fleshy lust, man. Because they are uncircumcised in the heart. They didn't let go of the cares of this world. All right? They didn't, they didn't, they didn't let go hey, of looking to, uh, to their flesh desires, man. Cause how, and, that's, and that's sin. It's how the sin come in, man, according to James. After your fleshy lust. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's the whole point, man. Shit. These people still go up their own covetousness. They desire. Whatever. Uh, and try to make it fit in the truth. Hey, Charlie, yeah, go make sure the door unlocked for uh, Bonnie. I don't know if I, this is X. Uh... It's Acts 7 and 51. It says, Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do ye. Wait, what was that? Acts 7 and 51. God, that's spirit. Oh, snap. You know? So it's called on what? Ye stiff-necked, man. Because it goes back to what, man? Uh, um, 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 rebellion is as the sin of uh, uh, witchcraft. And stubbornness is the sin of idolatry, man. Being stubborn is the same as being stiff-necked, man. Lean into your own understanding. That's why we circumcise our heart, man. We renew in our mind, man. You know? This word washes our mind, man. Washing your brain, man. God, I always keep reading, man. Yeah. Verse 52, which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted, and they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one? 
of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have rejected the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. And there you go. They reject the law. That goes to the uncircumcised heart. They they not listen to the prophets, man. Jeremiah forty four and four. All right, they're not actually doing what, what what's being taught to them, man. So they may even say it. Some of them may even say they Israelites. Nothing worse than them with the circumcision, and they know they Israelites. Yeah, that's All right, but guess what? They 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 still uh, uh, not serve how about Shami how shy and truth and sincerity, man. All right, what they mouth they show much love. This is uh, Titus 1, and I'm starting at 9. It says, Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Keeping, keeping, holding fast the word that you've been, help, you've been taught, holding fast the words of Yahweh Shah, the man that, that, that heareth the words and doeth them, you know. It says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, Especially they of the circumcision. Especially the niggas who know the Israelites, man. God, that show much love with their mouth, man. But their heart is not to the Lord, man. It says, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, cheating things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. And it's for profit, you know. And what and, and filthy lucre goes back to profit. You know, it goes back to uh, 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 pretty much fiat or anything you know to to advance yourself. But it also goes to what's profitable to the flesh. Your, your, your belly. They lust. You know. This is Mark seven and six. He answered and said unto them, Well, hath the Esaias prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honored me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. How be it in vain do they worship me, mm. teaching for doctrines and commandments of men. So they have a form of godliness, man, but deny the power thereof. It's about being circumcised in heart, having the truth, having the, uh, those qualities that was mentioned in Ezekiel, those things that please the Lord. Same thing the brother read in Matthew, the weightier matters, man. Those things that the Lord delight in, having the spirit of truth upon you, man. Having the spirit of truth in you. Um, for laying aside the commandments of the Most High, you hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things you do. And he says, therefore, well, you reject the commandment of the Most High, you may keep your own tradition. And that's just what these guys even trying to do to this day. They ain't fully let go of their flesh. They ain't let go of the world. They're not renewed. So they try to mix worldly shit and make it fit. Instead of uh, 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 trusting the Lord with all their heart, not even to their own understanding, man. All right, the reason why they're teaching lies is because they uncircumcised their heart. They wasn't willing to, to, to let whatever the Lord say be it, and that's what it is. Whatever you got to change, you got to fucking change. They weren't willing to really start over and be as a newborn babe. This is... Uh Philippians chapter 3, verse, verse 15. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if any thing ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, we, uh, Salakio, nevertheless, where too we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same things. Brethren, be followers together of me. And mark them which walk so, as ye have us for an example. For many walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Yahushai, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. Okay, so that's what a lot of these guys are to, man. They, they, they mind earthly things. They don't really... Uh, they haven't really let go of all the things that they valued in the world and their own righteousness and their own ways and traditions and kind of all those things lost for the excellency of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, they're just content with being Israelites in America and just being niggers, man. Being nigger lights. <laughs> okay, like we call them in Miami, nigger lights, okay? That's what they're content with, man. Okay, just knowing that they're Israelite and still being a nigger here in America, 
Okay, not not putting away the flesh. Okay, not not um not being contentious, trying to come up with new doctrines and all different type of bullshit, man. All right, and that's what they're content with, content with, man. They love the praise of men more than the praise of Most High, man. Okay, but we are not to be like that, man. If you if you are to truly be of the Israel of the Most High, man, you're supposed to put all of that away, man. <laughs> hey, niggas, uh, when we came out of Egypt, niggas knew they was his wife. Okay, they knew they was his wife in Egypt. But what? <laughs> A nigga still said, let us return to Egypt where we had our millions and our leeks and our cucumbers. Hey, a nigga just want to be comfortable, man. God. You know, like I said, the God is their belly, man. You know, whatever fulfills the lust of their flesh, man. Yeah, their desires. Whatever makes their flesh comfortable, you know? Because what's, what's, what's comfortable for the spirit is uncomfortable for the flesh, man. God. And what's comfortable for the flesh is uncomfortable for the spirit, you know? Uh, I, got, I got another precept out of Philippians 3, but starting at the beginning. Find me, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Okay, so that's the cut right there. You're supposed to rejoice in the Lord, man. Okay, and the only day. How you gonna rejoice in something that's not the main, like, the main uh, crux of your life, man? Okay, how you gonna rejoice in the Lord if he's not the main thing that you, that you following after, man? Okay, especially considering that the Most High is, is a spirit, man. Okay, and, and the spirit is contrary to all the ways of this world, man. All the ways of the flesh, man. So the only way you can rejoice in the, in the Lord is if you absolutely despise the world and, and its wickedness, man. The scriptures say um, you're not supposed to love the world, man. He that that, uh, that loveth the world, love the Father, is not in him, man. This is how you praise the Lord. This is John, the fourth chapter. This is John 4 and um, Salakia. John 4 and uh, verse 24, it says, The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And how do you do that, man? By circumcising your heart, man. Oh. By doing the things that, 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 we just, that we just read. You know, being renewed with the washing of the word, man. Not being a hearer only, but a doer. So once you learn this word, man, you, hey, 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 as soon as you hear this word, man, and you believe, and hey, you start applying it from there on, man. Every day you continue to learn, you continue to apply it to your life, man. You know? As it is written, all scripture is given for inspiration, man. For proof, for uh, doctrine, for correction, you know? For instruction of how, how what? How to, how, how to live righteously. Mm -hmm. That the man of God may be perfect. This is uh, Philippians 3 and 1. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you, to me, it is... Uh, to me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you, it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concision. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai and have no confidence in the flesh. And that's being circumcised in mind, man. Being circumcised in your heart, man. Being renewed in your mind. We, we, you said holding that Romans too because we got to grab that. Yeah, you know, right. that yeah. Go ahead, bro. Uh, though I might also have confidence in the flesh, so Paul said that he also might have confidence in the flesh. If any other man think that he hath worth whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law of Pharisee. So how many of these guys to say that? <laughs> Honestly, man. Concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Hamashiach, yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach, Yahushai, my Lord. For the excellency of the knowledge of the Lord. That's renewing your mind, man. Right. right. That's renewing your mind, man. Not walking in the flesh, doing the deeds of the flesh, fulfilling the lust of the flesh. Fuck all that, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, Paul, he, Paul even said, he was like, well, shit, nigga, I was circumcised eight day. God. Pharisee touching the Pharisee. Blameless, nigga. God. But, hey, but, hey, I count that loss for the excellent, for the knowledge. Why? Because he wasn't circumcised in heart, man. Until he received Yahweh Shah. Until Yahweh Shah knocked him off that horse, man. That's right. 
Crown, he said all these things were gaining to him. So you you know he had a reputation. Right. You know he he had a big name, Paul, an up and coming you know dignitary among the Jews. He's a Hebrew of Hebrews, man. Everybody knew about Paul, man. <laughs> okay. He said as touching the law, blameless, man. All right. He counted, but he counted all of that loss, the righteousness, seeking after his own righteousness and his own glory and his you know his own. You know, vision of how his life, how he wanted his life to be. He counted that all lost, man. Okay, being known as a Hebrew of Hebrews from the tribe of Benjamin, a Pharisee among the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. All of that lost for the excellency of knowledge of Yahweh Shai, man. So that means that it's more than just knowing that you are Israelite, man. Yeah. And the part, <laughs> the part of the excellence, excellency of the knowledge, man, is having your 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 your, your heart circumcised and knowing. None of my righteousness is exactly. all my righteousness is of Yahweh Shai, man. Exactly. It's faith in Yahweh why Yahweh Shai. That's right. If I offend one, I offend them all. So Paul, right. when once he received the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, all that was kind of lost. Like, you know, I'm a wretched fucker. Yep. All that I thought that was gain, I'm a piece of shit. Yep. You know? Kind. Oh, wretched man that I am, man. Kind. Exactly. Because we put no confidence in this flesh, man. <clears throat> I, I, I got a real quick piece of what y'all said. You said you got it? Nah, go ahead. Shit. Damn. Where you from? State? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say that. Galatians 6 and 8. He that saw to his flesh out of the flesh reap corruption. He that saw to the spirit out of the spirit reap life everlasting. Let us not be weary of well doing for in due season. We shall reap if we faint not. You know, reap, uh, uh, we should uh, uh, sow spiritual work to man. All right, so we can reap that life everlasting, man. Because uh, the carnal works, the the, the the heart is desperate, is wicked above all, man. Desperately wicked, man. Deceitful above all. So we can't go based off that. We got to completely hey, trust in how about shut me how shine. Follow after his order, his commands, man. Follow his spirit. And that's pleasing unto him, man. Having mercy and righteous judgment, equity, fear in the Lord, wisdom, truth. All right? That, do, doing good works, man. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, <laughs> especially unto them who are of the household of faith. So we labor. All right? And and, we, and ultimately that goes to the whole mindset being changed because he didn't even talks about in Timothy how we have to carry ourselves and uh, even amongst those that are without men. So uh, we got to completely become new creatures. Ye see how ye see what Mister Joseph. You see how large a letter I have written unto you with my own hand. As many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, they constrain you to be circumcised, only lest they should suffer persecution. For the cross of Mashiach. For neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law, but desire to have you circumcised, they may glory in your flesh. And that's the whole thing, man. That, that, that shit was a, a carnal glory, man. Like, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I woke up to the truth, I'm back to bed. It's like, I got circumcised, I'm doing this. I'm, I don't, I'm like, nah, man, you can't boast in that. But look what it says it says, neither, for neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law. Because you break one, you break them all. Okay, so but that also goes into they was just getting circumcised just to show that they got circumcised, but they commanded adultery, they worshiping idols, all types of shit, man. Right. That's a, that's there was a, a lot of wicked niggas doing that, but even the, right those of the house of faith that were God. circumcised, they still wouldn't keep it. You know, we keep it to the best of our ability, but we break the law continuously. And because we break one, we break them all. Paul even talked about if you get, if you get circumcised, now you are debtor to the law. To keep the whole law. To keep the whole law, exactly. But, um, Romans 13 again. For either they themselves who are circumcised, like, especially in circumcision, so it was a lot of circumcised wicked niggas God. just doing, oh, you're keeping the law of Pharisees. Now, I told them what? He said, do as they say, not as they do, because they say and do not. But the most high forbid, it's like 13. They would take the traditions. Kind. That omit the law, kind. like uh, it is a gift. What they said to the mother and father that kind. omits the law. You know, you can swear by the, uh, uh, you can swear on the altar, but not on the gift. Which you know, uh, you know. Kind. 
For either they themselves who are circumcised keep the law, but desire to have you circumcised, they may glory in your flesh. Because that's what the uh, uh, that, that's what the law works, you know, and Jake. They be keeping the law and start to boast in it, thinking they doing something, thinking they something. Romans 3 say uh, it's not of works, man, so you can't boast. Uh, it ain't of the law. But God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, by whom the world is crucified to me, and I into the world. So we, we, we're dead to the world, and we completely change. The world is dead to us, and we're dead to the world. The old way of living is dead to us, and right, we're dead to it. All right, we become new men because of the cross of Yahweh Shai, man. I would, for in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, neither circumcision to develop anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. And that's the point, man. You got to become a new creature. That's the real circumcision. The circumcision of the mind. The baby. circumcision of the heart, man. <coughs> so, I, which goes to what the brother was saying. Paul called it, all the other stuff dumb, man. He counted it a loss to win Yahweh Shai, man. So, you got to be that new creature. This is uh, Philippians three and uh, eight. Yea, doubtless I count, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach Yahweh my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dumb that I may win Hamashiach Yahweh and be found in Him, not having mine own righteousness which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Hamashiach, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know Him and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Okay, so Paul said that he was willing to lose all of that, okay, so that he could suffer, and, and so that even if it comes to the point where he has to give up his life for this truth, he will, so that he could attain unto the resurrection of the dead, you know, receiving the new bodies and being conformed into the image of Yahweh Shai, man, because he knows that he's wretched, man. Okay, in his flesh and all his righteousness are so filthy rags. So he's willing to give that up. All that glory that he had, all the things that were gained unto him. So that he could gain Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is the righteousness of God, which is by faith, man. Okay, he's the son of the living father, man. He, he He's the son of the most high in whom the Lord is well pleased, okay. That's why, man. So that's what that's how we got to be in this truth, man. It's more than just knowing you, Israelite. You have to be willing to, to go through whatever you have to go through. And suffer loss so that you can be conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai. Uh, got a quick precept for you. Uh, it's uh, Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. If he then be risen with Yahweh Shai, seek those things which are above, where Yahweh Shai sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. Set your affections on things above, not on things on earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Yahweh Shai and God. Like right, the brother was saying, man, we dead to the world, man. And if uh, the uh, scripture going to continue to break it down, how you got to continue to uh, kill that old man off. <clears throat> Verse 4, when you have a shot who is your life shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, and order and affection, evil concupiscences, covetousness, which is idolatry for thing, for which things sakes the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. And all those things are the flesh. And uh, scriptures also say, you know, and I'm going to get that too. You know, you got to walk in the spirit because the spirit don't, you walk in the spirit, you're not fulfilling the uh, flesh. Uh, Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So if you walk in the spirit, then you're going to always do things pertaining to the spirit and how to please the heavenly father. And you're not going to worry about the flesh. You're not going to worry about the world because we... We new creatures. We uh, killing off that old man and mortifying our members. Okay. That's going to back you up. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians four and sixteen. Is it? Oh, let's see. Let's start it. Second Corinthians four fifteen. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might, through the thanksgiving of many, redound to the glory of the Most High. For which cause we faint not. But though our outward man perish, mortify your members upon the earth, right? You know, I die daily, as Paul said, right? It says, though our outward man perish, so we not living after this flesh, yet the inward man is renewed day by day, man. 
you know. And that's every day you learn, you apply uh, this knowledge to your life, right? It's uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 16. It says, Wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Yahweh Shai after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And that's this knowledge, man. It refreshes you. You know? It gives you back that, uh, that, 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 that uh, holy mindset, man. It gives you back that, uh, 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 the mind of Yahweh Shai, we read earlier, you know? Do it, bro. Yeah. This is, uh, one, for he's not a two out. Yeah, yeah, you get straight to the point. Kind. This is, uh, Romans 2 and 28. For he is not... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I was, yeah, I just, yeah. Okay, God. Uh, this is Romans 2 and 25, for circumcision verily profiteth. Start at uh, 21. Start at 21. This is Romans 2. Start at 19. And 19. <laughs> 18. 17. Okay. Let's start at 17. God, this is Romans 2 and 17. Behold, thou art, thou art called a Jew, mm -hmm. and resteth in the law. And make us thy boast of the Most High. Which lets you know the book of Romans was written to Israelites living in Rome. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And knowest his will, and approveth the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law. Being instructed out of the law. You know, these scriptures. Mm -hmm. The words of Yahweh Shai, law come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. Right? Go ahead. And are confident that thou, that thou thyself art a guide of the blind, a light of them which are in darkness. An instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes, which has the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Thou therefore which teacheth that teacheth another, teacheth thou not thyself? Exactly. So now, now that goes back to not being a hearer only, but a doer. God. It goes back to Matthew 7. Whatever judge you judge, it shall be judged upon you. That's why Yahweh shall say what? Do as they say, but not as they do. Because they continue to do something, but yet they wouldn't do it. They say and do not. You know? So that's why Paul said, Thou therefore that teaches another. Doest thou teach thyself, man? You sitting here telling this brother not to do this, not to do that. Well, what are you doing? Right? Go ahead. Thou therefore, which shows you that a person like that, they don't, they're not really, they, they don't really mind heavenly things. They're just doing that for their own glory, man. Mm. <laughs> Thou therefore which teacheth another, teachest thou not thyself? Thou that preacheth a man should not steal, doest thou steal? Thou that saith a man should not commit adultery, doest thou commit adultery? <clears throat> right, go ahead. Thou that abhorrest idols, doest thou commit sacrilege? Exactly, man. So you out there calling on the name of the Lord two, three times in your intro. But yet you, you you preaching that that's sacrilege, man. That's idolatry, man. But yet you preaching talking about oh the Lord gonna kill you niggas, man. That's madness, man. Though the, the, that's uncircumcised in heart, man. And the brother read in Ezekiel, man, hey, the Lord gonna punish you, you you circumcised niggas, meaning meaning you ones that know you Israelite. Meaning you ones that know you Israelite, man. All you niggas that's out there talking about. Uh, 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 you Israel and all this madness, man. You know? The Lord going to punish you with the uncircumcised, man. With the heathens. And that lies perfect luck. Because re the reason you're uncircumcised in heart is because you have a heathenistic mindset, man. Because you're acting like the heathens. It all goes back to the mindset, man. Because the scripture says what? A uh, 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 man's, uh, man's reasonings, the man's trial is in his reasonings. Roughly paraphrasing in Sirach. And it says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And you're going to be judged by every word that comes out of your mouth. So, so if your heart is, is, is pure, you're going to speak pure words. If your heart is wicked, you're going to speak wicked words, man. That's why the Lord tells us to meditate upon these words day and night, man. To meditate within the law. You know, that's having the mind of Yahweh Shai, man. That's meditating on these words, meditating on Yahweh Shai, you know. Over, bro. 
Yeah, one twice. This is uh, Romans 2 and 23. Thou that makest thy boast of the law through breaking the law, dishonoreth thou God? For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles right. through you. <laughs> what is it that in the law you can't smoke weed? We keep it a law, but then we keep the law, man. Then you're going to go smoke some damn weed. Because you don't understand the law, man. That's a prime example. Yeah. We're going to boast in the law while breaking the law. Oh, she should show me clippers in the land of Canaan. <laughs> nigga, this scripture says round the corners of your head, nigga. No matter what type of fucking device you use, nigga, no matter if you use a plastic cap and you kept doing it until something finally came off. Like, what the fuck? That's the same type of shit that, that the Sanhedrin, the San, uh, Sanhedrin came up with. That's the same type of shit that they used to try to, and came with the tail move, man. Think you loophole in the Lord or some shit, man. Think you slick, man. Hey, that's why I said what, desiring to be teachers of the law, but uh, understand it or neither affirm it was written therein, uh -huh. man. That's uh -huh. these niggas, man. Niggas say something and be like, nigga, no, nigga, that's written. No, it's not even talking about that. Like, what fuck is you? What? It's madness, man. But it goes back to what? Being uncircumcised in your heart, man. And in ears. Because we telling you the right way. It's Jeremiah 6 and 10. To whom shall I speak? I'm starting at 9. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I'm going to start at uh, 8. Jeremiah 6 and 8. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my soul depart from thee, lest I make thee desolate, a land not inhabited, man. He said, well, he's going to circumcise, he's going to punish the uncircumcised with the circumcised, man. He's telling us to listen, to follow his instructions, to obey, to be circumcised in heart, right? Thus saith the hollow of hosts, they shall thoroughly glean the remnant of Israel as a vine. Turn back thy hand as a grape gatherer into the baskets. All right, so it's going to be a, a, a select few men, a remnant, that will be circumcised in heart, man. All right? And, that's, and hopefully we them in, man. They let. Hopefully let. Yeah. To whom now? This is the point, though. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of Yahweh is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. So they don't want to hear the truth, man. It's that simple. They don't want to come into the light, man. The, and men love darkness more than they love light. So that's why you got plenty of niggas, you know, claiming to be Israel, but still doing wickedness. And boasting about it. Boasting in, yeah. in the law while, while breaking the law. <laughs> where your fringe is at? Jim, where y'all fringe is at? Meanwhile, you got a whole lined up here. Line. You got a nigga in your camp of dreads and shit. Keeping, your, keeping back your sword from blood. Don't right. talk about Esau. Not teach the name of the Lord, which is in the law, man. Oh, the market say don't take the name. Slide. Slide. The market beast is not the chip. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Thou that teaches others not to commit, not to worship idols, thou commit sacrilege. Exactly. <laughs> the hell? Right, right. <laughs> Calling on Jesus. They curse, they curse the Christian now. But y'all worship the same damn God. Caesar Borgia, man. That's who the fuck Jesus is, man. Chesley Borgia. Or Serapis, however you want to fucking look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, for a circumcision verily profiteth if thou oh, no, where you at, bro? Uh, this is uh, Romans chapter two, I'll oh, sorry, verse twenty-three. Thou that makest thy boast of the law through breaking the law, dishonorest thou God, for the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you as it is written, for a circumcision verily profiteth if thou keep the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. So the Lord got a Lord got a great vengeance against you, you, you niggas, man. That's why I said, especially at the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, man. Because you're blaspheming the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right, continuously, man. Because you claim to be Israel. You're supposed to be representing Yahweh Bashan and Yahweh Shai. Hey, but your, 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 the, the doctrine you speak is, is against him. Like it says in Jeremiah, in Jeremiah 5. They have belied the Lord. Um, hey, and they actions, man. You know huh. how you carry yourself. You know, it's, it, it, like I it said, we are ambassadors for Yahweh Shah. We represent the Lord. It says that um, give offense in anything that the gospel be not blamed. Huh. You know, because we, we we are representatives. Mm -hmm. So a, 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 a part of uh, blaspheming the Lord's name is the conduct you you carry yourself in as well, man. Huh. You know. 
posing on Instagram with a goddamn gun hanging out your pocket and but, shit? Well, well, you had a gun out the pocket, but don't forget the pile of weed sitting right there behind it. You know? What what happened to you preparing for the, uh, the appearance, the appearance of, evil. of evil when you had the blood in your hand? Nah, nigga, you just being a, a sneaky nigga that smoked weed. You should have just never made the video or just said, yeah, I smoke weed. Because we don't believe it's wrong. But the fact you had it doing all that shit shows that you, in your spirit you know what's yeah, wrong. Yeah, that's right. And the Lord's going to kill you niggas. Yep. This is Jeremiah 5 and 1. Run you to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the brow places thereof. Mm -hmm. If you can find the men, if there be any that execute a judgment that seek the truth, and I will pardon it. See? Because those are things the Lord's delight in, man. And the Lord will pardon it, man. And that's why we out there, Ezekiel 9. You know, set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that's done in the midst thereof, man. We out there for the elect, man. Those that have ears to hear, man. And because Deuteronomy 30, verse 6, it says that the Lord will uh, circumcise our heart in the heart of our seed, man. You know? Hey, verse 2. And though they say the Lord you, brother, and though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. O Yahweh, are not thy eyes upon the truth? <laughs> Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. Hey, you want to know what's crazy? Can you read that the, 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 the start of the verse again? Huh. Verse 2. And though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. Don't one of them niggards got a, they, they title or their YouTube thing is As Yahweh Liveth. Huh. But the nigga scoffing the whole time, going against the true doctrine, man. You know? One of them ITR ass niggas, one of them whole ass niggas, man. And, 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 and that's really what it says, because really it says, and, through, and though they say, you how to live it. That's, that's them, man. what it says right there. Surely they swear falsely. Yeah. Man. Oh, you how are not thy eyes upon the truth, man? Thou hast stricken them, they have not grieved, thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than the rock. <laughs> they have refused to return. Yep, yeah. and, and we and we, we, we tell you, we out there every week. The spirit have us, bro, you know, I, I don't want to sit down thinking I'm finna mention Nate. Mm -hmm. I'm finna mention Yahana. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna get on these niggas, bubble eyes, the Nick in the gang, and ITR yeah. niggas. Man, man, that's the spirit of Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah, man. We going into circumcise uh, uh, the heart, you know? And the spirit brings us up. Why? Because the Lord got a great controversy with you whole ass niggas, with you false fucking prophets, man. And the Lord gonna deal with each and every last one of you in due time. <sighs> I'm going to skip down to verse um, 11. For the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacherously against me, saith the Lord. They have belied the Lord and said, It is not he, neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine. And the prophets shall become wind, and the word is not in them, thus shall it be done to them. So guess what? These people have belied the Lord, man. Hey, but get, you how about you? going to destroy you for that, because you're showing you got circumcised in heart, man. Or you got to conform to his word. You can't make it fit you and your desire yeah. and your lust and your covetousness. Yeah. You doing that only shows you're a wicked nigga. You either, you either try to make it fit your lifestyle or you just flat out lying. Either way, it's showing you to be a wicked nigga. You can read that verse here, the last verse you read. Uh, this is Romans chapter 2. Verse 23, Thou that makest that boast of, of the law, through breaking the law, dishonorest thou God, for the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. Exactly. The name of the Lord is blasphemed, man. But they teach you doctrines that he don't teach. They said, thus said the Lord, when he sent them not. Alright? The, the action they're showing is a contrary to sound doctrine. All right, you blaspheme the name of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai. And ultimately, because you, you, you study said it, you said it three times in the beginning of the video, but you're taking it in vain. Because if you meant it, you wouldn't do the shit you're doing. Blatant uh, offense is contrary to the law. When I say law, I mean the whole book, including the law of Moses. Go ahead. For a circumcision verily profiteth if thou keep the law, but if thou be a breaker of the law, Thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. If thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision, man. So all you guys are uncircumcised in heart, man. Because you're not keeping the law of grace. 
The law of faith, man, because that's the law we under. You niggas despised it and rejected according to the second edge of the ninth chapter. The doors of repentance was open, but they despised it because they understood it not, you know? Go ahead, Rome. Verse 26, therefore, if the circumcision, or Salakia, therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? So if the Israelite foreigners, man, who didn't know that they was Israelites being brought back in, hey, 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 once they acknowledge the Israelites repent for their sins and they start uh, uh, following our heritage, because that's what it is, our traditions, hey, well, then they uncircumcision in the flesh will be counted as circumcision in the heart, man. Hey, they ain't even got to do all that. All they got to do is have faith in Yahweh Bashan and Yahweh Shai. And have that profession, you know? Because of what it said, they abstain from bloodshed. Mm -hmm. Because, hey, we coming at the end, what's going to be some man just coming in the last hour? Uh -huh. Just as Yahweh Shai the cross. And all that man did was show that he believed. His faith was counted for righteousness. Mm -hmm. Confession is made to salvation. There you go. So that's really what it boils down to, man. Best, hey, if you've got faith in how about you, I'm sure you're uncircumcised and counted as circumcision. The just shall live by faith. Okay. And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfilled the law, judge thee who by the letter and circumcision dost transgress the law. So if they fulfill the law of what? <clears throat> the law of righteousness that we read in Romans 8, man, which is faith. For he is not a Jew. Which is one outward, outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. Mm -hmm. And circumcision is that of the heart and the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. And that's the point, man. You know, that's a real Israelite, man. Being circumcised in heart, you know, whose praise is not of men, but of the Most High. We do the rubber stuff. We start with Jeremiah 9. This is our, if any man glory, glory in this, that you, that you understand and know it's me, man. God. That's our glory, man. God. The water you how about Shami Yahushai, that he chose some, some wretched men. Because we all in this fucking rich, weak ass flesh. God. You know? God. That he chose a, 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 a wretched men, base men. He said he chose base men that can found the wives. Even that scripture alone keeps you humble like shit, you know? This is uh, Galatians 6 and 16. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy and upon the Israel of God. Can you start up? What, what, what is that? Uh, jump back a chapter. Go to 5 and... Um, I know the brother read 16, but, but read, it, read it down to the end. And Galatians 5. And Galatians oh, yeah, 5. whenever you, you're done with. Okay, Kai. Okay. Uh, Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Because walking in the Spirit, walking in through these scriptures, walking in Yahweh Shah. That's right. You know, being that new creature. You know, Yahweh Shah said what? That he, he is up with us, man. Once you humble yourself as a little child, once you receive the men he sent, because that, that's what it is. He, Yahweh Shah ain't coming to you directly. He sent this man out there, man. So in order for you to receive Yahweh Shai, you got to receive the men that he sent. Simple as that. You know? So it says, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Wisdom shall meet thee in every thought. It tells you in Wisdom Solomon 6 chapter. Deuteronomy, what's that? 6, tell us, let it be frontless between our eyes. You know? Do everything with counsel. Where is our counsel, man? The men that's around us, the brethren. Let the law be in light. Kind, kind, yeah. Yep, right? So go ahead, bro. For the flesh lust is after the, uh, against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. Same thing Paul wrote about, what was that, Romans 7? Mm -hmm. When he said, oh, wretched man that I am. Hey, hey I can sit to the law that it is good. In my flesh dwelleth no good thing. You know? Go ahead. And these are contrary the one to the other, mm -hmm. so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if he be led of the spirit, he are not under the law. Wow, well, well, it's, it's going to explain it. Keep going. Now the works of the flesh are made are manifest, which are these: adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. And all that is lost for that, man. God. You know, right? Go ahead. So walking after the spirit includes keeping the law. Okay. Envying, murders, drunkenness, 
revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That, that, that they which do such things as he, he just read shall not inherit the kingdom, man. Right? Go ahead, bro. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Against such there is no law. So that's what he says. That's what it meant when he said when you walk in the Spirit, you're not under the law. Why? Because where there is no law, there is no transgression. So it said when you walk in the Spirit, is the fruit of the Spirit is what? Read those again, Bible Shah. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, good, uh, goodness, faith, Meekness, temperance against such there is no law. And you learn all that through what? The spirit of Yahweh shot through this book, man. You know, through the men who are sitting here to be the example and the teachers, man. Go ahead. And they that are they, they that are Hamashiachs have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If ye uh, Salaki, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Exactly, man. So, hey, let us walk in the spirit, man. Let us walk in meekness. Let's walk as Yahweh Shai. You know? If you're not sure about something, you ask counsel on it, man. You go, you, you go to a brother. Hey, brother, I ain't sure about the situation. Ooh, ooh, what they think? You know? And get wise counsel on that matter. You know? Or, or if you're not sure about a situation, but you know the scriptures speak on it, we'll go to the scriptures and see what the scripture says and handle it that way. Because that's walking in the light thereof, you know? Not leaning to your own understanding, not doing what the flesh won't. Not just being, a, a, what the scriptures say, a bull strand alone, man. Come. Come. By faith we establish the law. You got any questions, too? This Colossians chapter 2, verse 1. For I would that ye know what great conflict I have for you, and for them at Lacedonia. Uh, and for as many as are not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts may be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and, the, and Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. And whom are here all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And I and this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in spirit, joining and beholding your order. Yes, and steadfastness of your faith in the Shah. Keep that in mind, you know, uh, having that order and being steadfast in the faith, man. Knowing the truth, having full assurance in the truth, man. Not being swayed with the Tyson words, not being weak out. Alright? Go ahead. Verse 6. As ye have therefore received Yahweh Shai, the Lord, so walk ye in him. Mm -hmm. Rooted and built up in him, established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounded therein with thanksgiving. As ye have been taught. Go ahead. <laughs> Verse 8, beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of man, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Yahweh Shai. For, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power, and whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, and putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Yahweh Shai. And there you go. This is the circumcision that we have, circumcision of heart, man. The putting off the body, man, of the sins of this flesh, the, to, the mortifying this flesh, man, through faith in Yahweh Ba'ashan, Yahweh Shai, man, the circumcision of Mashiach. That's the circumcision we have. All right? Can you read that one more time, brother? Come on, come on. Start, read, start up when it says the fullness of him, man. Come on, come on. Right now. Uh, this is Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. God. And whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, and putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision <coughs> of Yahweh Shah. Buried with him in baptism, 
wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who have raised him from the dead. And there you go. If we be if we be dead with we got if, uh Slaki, we believe we have a shot, we're dead we have a shot, man. So we're dead to this world, man. So we don't have the rudeness of this world in our doctrine, man. Alright? The world the love in the world is enmity with the most high. Alright, so we have to be that new creature, man. Completely reformed. That's the circumcision. Completely reformed in our mind, man. Alright? According to the knowledge and faith in Yahweh Bashan and Yahweh Shai. Okay, right, for the precept, uh, this First Corinthians two and twelve. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. By the brother saying, you know, we dead in the world, and you know, you've been circumcised in your mind. Along with that, the, uh, the spirit of the Most High is with you, with the true man that He set up. Okay. You got anything else? No. All right, so with that, hopefully that was edifying. All right, and all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, Double honors to the apostles, right. all right, that do rule well, man. That's right. All right, the elders, the apostles, and great millstone. And salutations, brothers, doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.